Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're going to be talking about blade spindles, quills, mandrels, whatever you want to call them. A lot of the blade spindles that you buy nowadays all have grease cirques in them and stuff, but yet they have sealed bearings in them. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy way how you can actually grease these bearings so they last a long, long time. So hope you enjoy the video. Here's just some of the different styles of blade spindles they are, like these here. These are AYPs, like Sears, Husqvarna, John Surd, you know, all them. And these here are MTDs. They both have the stars on them. The AYPs have more of a rounded, and then the MTDs are more pointed. Like here's an MTD blade, and here's an AYP. We'll talk a little bit more about these after a while, but what I think is funny about the whole thing is a lot of the original equipment didn't have Zerks on them. Later on, you know, the aftermarket started making the ones with the Zerks. Like, see, here's here's an old original equipment one. This is for an AYP. No place for a Zerk. And here's a new style one with the Zerk in it. But the crazy thing is, there's a Zerk on top. And they have the hole in the shaft where the grease comes in and goes through here. The bearings they put in all these are sealed bearings. Take one apart here. They're sealed bearings. So you can grease that up all day long and you're not going to get no grease inside here unless it gets actually hot enough where the grease actually melts and it'll probably go in there. But I've seen time and time again that they barely put any grease in these bearings to begin with. Especially, you know, I'm not cutting down the the off-brand ones you, know, you can buy on ebay or or amazon you, you can buy a quill assembly for what 20 bucks nowadays but the bearings the bearings they use in them there's hardly any grease in there and it needs that grease to keep them ball bearings going freely so they don't wear out so i'll show you a little trick that i do around here you might like it you might not like it but this is what i do around here so okay, here's a bearing that has that tin protective covering on it then 99% of the AYP spindles have the bearings with the plastic protected on it so what I like to do especially on pretty much anyone all you gotta do is just take something pointy and just pop that out and there's your bearings right there and as you can see there's hardly any grease in there and as fast as these things spin, as much mowing as the new lawnmowers mow, you know, that's not going to last. So this is the top bearing on a AYP. You leave one side on. That's the outside one. This part here will go in like that. And we're going to do the same with the bottom bearing. Just stick something in there just to catch it. And just pop it off. As you can see, there's hardly any grease in there. And like your front bearings on your car, I mean, they pack, pack them up plumb full of grease because they're spinning all the time. Well, these things here do pretty much the same thing. But we leave the back side, leave that one alone. Have that bearing open like that and the top bearing like that. So when you put it inside this here, that grease will come through the thing, come through here and it'll fill that thing up. And that's how them bearings will get the grease and they'll, they'll last twice, maybe two, three, four times longer than they would without doing this particular method. It does something to think about. You know, nowadays quills are so cheap. But here's one with the, the tin covering on it. Just pry it up enough so you can grab it with a pair of pliers or something. There we go. That one, this is more a more expensive bearing. There's way more grease in that one. Still not enough, but there's more grease in that one than the than these ones with the plastic covers on them. But yeah, you keep you only you only do one side. You keep the open sides towards the inside. So when you fill this hub up, that grease is going to go to the bearings. Then one more thing that I like to do before I put it together, I'll take my grease gun. I'll put it on both these open ones here and just kind of fill them because when you Put grease in that thing, there's going to be air pockets in there. But we'll do that on both the bottom and the top bearing. So you know there's going to be grease on there right away. And you'll fill that thing up. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. But that makes the life of your blade, spindle, mandrel, quill, whatever you want to call it, 
the tremendous tremendously gives it a longer life then we'll talk about a few other things here here's another little trick i like to do too on some of these housings that you get there's no threads in here and you use them self-tapping bolts that they send with you well i don't trust them because what's happened to me a time or two when i first started doing that you start putting the bolt in and you get halfway through and the head snaps off pretty much sol on that so what i like to do is use a 5 16 tap and die and just gently go in there make sure they're nice and straight Do all four of them, just like that. And instead of using them, what, inch and a quarter bolts that they use, I like using an inch and a half or an inch and three-fourths. And actually, you know, this goes up through the deck. So the ring of the deck sits in here, and there's four holes on top of the deck. We bolt it down. I actually put a nut on the back of the bolt. And the only way that's going to come off is when you break it, because when you hit, hit a rock or a stump, usually you break these tips off if you have one that's broke off i truly recommend you replacing it but that's just another little trick i like to do and then there's just one more little thing i want to talk a little bit about and that's when you're putting the blades on these make sure you get it so it goes on here like here's a new one yeah it fits in there i know some of you guys think this is probably stupid but this happens a lot actually fits in there nice well, sometimes, you know, when you jack the front of the lawnmower up and you're laying on the, on your backs, this one won't even go on there. The reason why, it was put on like this, and they mushroomed. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all mushroomed out. It won't even fit on there. But that happens a lot, too. Then your blade will actually work itself loose, and you'll, you'll ruin the shaft. So that is another little thing. Just take a little extra time and make sure you get that in there and put your bolt in there. Same with the MTD ones. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Oh, and one more, one more quick thing before I forget. When you're replacing these blade spindles, mandrels, quills, whatever you want to call them, sometimes they don't come with this washer because you have to put your old pulley on top. And some, I've seen this happen here a lot. They get their or their new blade spindle. And they get and they put this on and they either lose the original washer that went on there but you definitely have to have these washers on there they're spacers whatever you want to call them that way the bottom of your pulley don't wear out the top of the housing that's just the last thing so anyways hope you enjoyed the video appreciate you watching if you like like this video please press the like button and please subscribe anyways you guys have a good afternoon